In this lesson, we are going to learn how to read measurement so that a measurement include all the certain digit that we can prove based on the instrument. All measurement will include all certain digit that label on the instrument plus one estimated digit. There are two steps. The first step is to determine the values of one increment, okay, by using two consecutive number on the instrument. For instance, let's look at this one right here. We have 20 to 40 or 40 to 60. If you notice 40 to 60, we have one, two. There are two increments there, right? To determine the values for one increment, all you have to do is use this formula right here. We take the larger number minus the smaller number, divide by the number increment. So 60 minus 40, and divide by the number of increment, which is one and two. 60 minus 40 gives you 20, and 20 divided by two gives you 10. So each one of this little space right here is actually equal to 10, 40, 50, 60. So let's read this measurement. We know for sure it's gonna be 40 something, right? So let's put 40 right there. We can prove that's 40 something. But here's the tricky part. See right there, we do not have a mark that tell us 40 something. So we have to estimate it. In this case, kind of past half a little bit, I would say about 46. Do we need a decimal in this case? No, because we are estimating at the one places. So we don't have to go as far as the decimal places. So our answer could be 45, 47, but it cannot be 45.0 or 47.0 or 46.0 because we did not go as far as the decimal places. Okay, let's try another one over here. We have this right here at the meniscus level. We have 35 and 40. So to find the values of one increment is 40 minus 35 divided by how many increment? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it's 5. 40 minus 35 give us 5. 5 divided by 5 give us 1. So each one of this is equal to 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now our mark, our meniscus is right here. So we know for sure it's going to be 35 right here. So it's 36. So we know it's 36 for sure, right? Because we can prove at this line right there. But the meniscus passed 36 a little bit, so we know we have to estimate. In this case, we have the meniscus is half of the increment, right? Halfway of this increment. So we assume what's half of one? It's gonna be 0.5. So therefore, our answer is 36.5. This is where we estimate it. You see the difference between decimal and without decimal? We always end our reading with the estimated digit. Let's try another one over here. We have 21 to 20. Whoa, wait a minute. In some cases, when you have a barrette, it's gonna be reading the opposite. But we will still apply the same concept, okay? So here we have 21 minus 20. And divide by how many increment? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten. And then divide by ten, give us point one. So each one of this is point one. Okay? So twenty point one, twenty point two, twenty point three, and so on. This is where our meniscus is. So what we have is we have to read downward, okay? So we have 20.1, 20.2, So we have 20.3 something. But what is that something? As you can see, this is about halfway of that increment. So you can say it is five because half of one is 0.5. In this case, it's the second decimal place. You see how we have to look at one digit individually and see how it is relative to the values of the single increment, but it is about every individual digit. For instance, we have 20, we can prove that 20 is there. We have 0.3, we can prove that 0.3 is there, but we have to estimate, which is five right there, half of one. 
And that is our answer.